Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you guys turning uh, birthdays this month, congratulations, the brightest of blessings on the turning of the year. Uh, so let's get right into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of March 2020. All right. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups. Uh, for some of you guys, um, you may be experiencing for this month of March a bit of distraction. Um, what they're saying is a lot of you are going to be experiencing uh, a lot of changes in different aspects of your life and perhaps you feel like uh, you're being a little bit scattered or your energy is being scattered. Uh, for some of you guys, this could even represent, um, as an example, like if you're going to school, you're going to college, um, things are going to start to unfold within the family dynamic. Uh, so it's almost a feeling of like being pulled toward different directions. And what they're telling you is for this month of March, it's going to be very important for you guys to maintain your focus. Uh, so pretty much keep your eye on the prize, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish or you're trying to do uh, for this month of March. Uh, make sure not to distract yourself with other things that are going to be coming about or getting your attention. Um, because again, uh, concentration is going to be very important for you guys for this month. Now, the obstacle here is for some of you guys... Um, I want to say those of you guys that are currently dealing with uh, like wanting to progress, wanting to move forward, if there's been a feeling of resistance or blockages, what they're telling you now that moving forward for the coming days, it's going to be very important. Again, we go back to that of focus, uh, being very focused, not allowing outside circumstances or situations uh, to push you in a different direction or to distract you from what you're trying to achieve whatever this may mean to you for some of you guys it could be on the business realm for others it could be relationships or for some it could even represent like trying to attain or achieve a goal um, as an example if you are in a partnership perhaps having a bit of difficulties in the love department where you feel like your attention is being pulled towards somewhere else um, but because of circumstances or outside sources or energies, they're influencing. So it's almost like, um, kind of like when you're focused and you're trying to achieve something or you're very determined working on a project or something and like the family dynamic or your kids are running wild and it's like you're frustrated. So what they're saying here is focus is going to be very important especially if in fact you have been experiencing a bit of resistance when it comes to pushing through projects, pushing through um, wanting <clears throat> to achieve certain goals or aspirations that, you, that you're currently on a journey on, what they're saying is keep your focus, okay? Now, the past and passing, you do have the Queen of Wands, some of you guys dealing with the fire energy. Um, now, in the past and passing, uh, Queen of Wands could represent almost like um, learning or wanting to learn something from a particular person. Um, it could be like a friend. It could be, this could even be like your mother type of energy as well. Uh, with the Queen of Wands though, I feel that what they're trying to tell you is that in the past, perhaps there was a point in time where you felt very confident. You felt very in control of your life. Um, now we go from that to the transition of being a bit confused or being a bit scattered. Um, again, the fear, the fear of not achieving or the fear of not being able to overcome whatever obstacles you're currently dealing with. Trying not to focus so much on the problems, uh, Pisces. Instead, put your intention and your energies towards what you're trying to make happen or towards optimistic or positive outcomes um, instead of focusing so much on the resistance that you're currently experiencing. Uh, this is not only going to help you um, maintain that high vibration, but it's also going to help you with your confidence, okay? Now we do have here the Eight of Wands, very quick movement. So again, we go from having a bit of resistance, having a bit of difficulty, uh, projects not being launched when you would want, or perhaps, um, 
certain situations that are not unfolding the way you wanted them or as quickly as you would want them. Um, this is, again, we, we are currently experiencing, you know, the retrograde. So again, a lot of things are quick, are, sorry, are very slow in pace. Um, but that's quickly going to start shifting. As you can see, you go from uh, having difficulty being able to move forward to the Eight of Wands, launching ideas, launching progress, or quick movement. So again, it's about maintaining that focus and that determination. You also do have here the Knight of Wands. So I see a lot of you guys on a journey of trying to either attain some type of stability. For some of you guys, it could be the desire of wanting to purchase a new home, uh, a new vehicle, something that is going to, um, that you would consider raising your station or raising your status. Um, and it's based off of like uh, determination. So I feel that for some of you guys, uh, it could come from very hard work, perhaps hard work that you've been uh, putting or really uh, putting your focus and your energy towards that. For those of you guys on the spiritual level, if you guys are currently or have been experiencing like uh, being on a transition, a journey of spiritual awakening, of the pursuit of spirituality, uh, what they're telling you here is there is certain uh, gifts that you were born with and you're starting to come into your own or being able to tap into that. Don't fear that and don't fear criticism or judgment from it, whatever this may mean. For some of you guys, it could even be like starting your own business, um, but you often uh, self-negative talk to yourself. So again, it's about maintaining that positive uh, vibration and really submerging yourself into your passion and you will quickly start to see um, manifestations on the material level as what we see unfolding before you that is unexpected is the the ten of pentacles so this is status uh, this can also represent finances uh, increase in finances as well as promise for something um, long term now you do have the ace of wands a lot of new beginnings for you Pisces out there with the page of swords though again I feel that for some of you guys there is um, almost like you pay very close attention to criticism you take it to heart and what they're telling you here is you know let that slide off of you understand that uh, it's kind of like you know th that saying uh, don't take constructive criticism from someone that has never uh, constructed anything in their life uh, so again people or outside energy that is trying to uh, change your mind about a circumstance or a situation, whether it's in business, whether it's in finances, whether it's in love and romance. Uh, what Spirit is telling you here is pay attention to what your heart is telling you. You're on a path right now, uh, a path that is pulling you towards what you should be doing or the path you should be walking on. But stop ignoring that and stop um, not just ignoring it, but start stop suppressing uh, perhaps certain things that have came up in uh, the past, very like recurring, uh, constant or often. Uh, what they're saying here is really focus your intention in understanding what those lessons were and why. Uh, a lot of the times, sometimes when we are currently experiencing certain situations that look very familiar or feel very familiar to the past, it's usually because we need to learn that lesson. We haven't learned it fully yet. Uh, so again, one of your lessons here is to maintain your focus or your attention towards something enough that you see yourself uh, start it and end it to its completion so that you can then see the fruits of your labor. So you can then see the positive outcome. So what they're saying here is I feel with the intention um and them saying that you need to maintain focus. I feel that for a lot of you guys, perhaps you've started something and you're quickly, um, you kind of distract yourself and then you go on to the next thing. And what they're telling you here is if you really want to experience uh, a new beginning, not only a new beginning, but something that is going to be very beneficial in the long run, uh, and it's going, it's talking about something long term, you got to stick through it, Pisces, okay? Really put your energy towards not distracting yourself and if you start something finish it only then will you be able to see the major impact and transition and the lesson that you finally learned which is that to stick it through or stick it stick it through all the way 
uh, basically. So you are coming out in your own reading. And again, the hanged man, um, you're not going to see progress or changes if you don't stick to whatever it is that you say you're going to do. So with that being said, what they're saying is whether it's projects, whether it's uh, behavioral, you know, um, behavioral issues, uh, perhaps certain type of, you know, certain type of attributes about yourself, uh, you're very motivated and you really submerge yourself to doing or wanting to accomplish. But then if something else sparks your interest, you're on to the next thing. And what they're telling you is that for this month, it's going to be very important not only to maintain the focus and to really uh, be careful with scattering your energy, but at the same time is if you start something, make sure to finish it. Don't be quick to give up because if you're quick to give up, you're never going to see your full potential, Pisces, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.